Huh. Well, after all that, singing all those songs, telling the story, hearing the four questions, all that discussion, that was a fabulous Seder. And now, after the Seder, we have had a delicious meal. What do you mean it was a wonderful Seder? Seder's still going. That's right. <sighs> now that you mention it, way back when we chanted the order of the Seder, Shulchan Oreich, the meal is served, gonna... was not the last uh -uh. step. Nope. Nope. Hmm. So, once we're done with the meal, we're not entirely done until someone finds the afikomen and shares it with all of us. Because the afikomen is supposed to be the very last thing we eat. Mm -hmm. That's tzafun. Are we done then? Mm, not if I'm recalling the song correctly. Right. Safun and then Barich. So, when we're done with the meal and we've eaten the last little bits of the afikomen that we have shared, and if we're having home seders with just our families this year, there's probably more of a share of the afikomen for everyone than usual. Mm, delicious. Delicious last matzah. Only seven more days of it. <laughs> anyway... Then we come to Barich, which is blessing the meal we have eaten. And that comes from a commandment in the Torah that says, when we have eaten and we are satisfied, we shall bless. So there is a special blessing that is said after eating called Birkat Hamazon, the blessing of nourishment. And in most Haggadahs, Birkat Hamazon shows up and it has lots and lots of words super long, many pages, and usually in my house we actually sing all those words, but just in case by the end of the Seder you are feeling too tired to sing all those words, we are going to teach you the shortest version of Birkat HaMazon that the Talmud says is possible to say when someone is really in a hurry like they're being chased by monsters. I hope you're not being chased by monsters, but you can still sing this version of Birkat HaMazon, the blessing after meals, if you are in a hurry or really tired. So this version is not actually in Hebrew. Anybody know what language it's in? It's the language of the Talmud and it's Aramaic, which is written in Hebrew letters and sounds kind of like Hebrew, but with some different sounds. So like, for example, the word that begins a blessing, instead of baruch in Hebrew meaning blessing, the Aramaic word is rich. That's right. And instead of melech, like melech ha'olam, the word in Aramaic is malka. That's right. So this phrase, brich rachamana malka de alma, means blessed is the compassionate ruler of the world. Alma is like olam in Hebrew, melech ha'olam. Mare dehai pita, source of this all bread, which is kind of funny because we're not eating bread, but matzah is bread for the purposes of motzi and blessing. So again, that's brich, rachamana, malka, De Alma, Mare de Hai Pita. And we have a song that is by Rabbi Shefa Gold that is on your source sheet and that we are going to sing and you can sing with us now. I know some of you know it already. And if you would like to get jewel credit for watching this video, I invite your family to send a video of you singing this song together after eating a meal. Here goes. Let's sing it all the way through together once, and then we'll do the round with okay. each other. Okay. Okay. 
Pita. You are the source of life for all that is, and your blessings flow through me. You are the source of life for all that is, and your blessing flows through me. You are the Free source of life for all that is, and your blessing flows through me. You are the source of life for all that is, and your blessing flows through me. You are the source of life for all that is, and your blessing flows through me. The source of life for all that is, and your blessing flows through me. Do they have to sing it like that with their families? No. You could just do your best. <laughs>